I think that was probably our first international break from our side in the club's history on Saturday, um, with players being away on international duty. I mean, how, how did you use that break? I think the break was needed, first and foremost, so we were delighted to, to get it. We trained extremely hard the early part of the week. You've seen the, the early morning start. We started one morning here at 6.30. Uh, we were hoping to be under the floodlights, but our floodlights we're on a timer that we couldn't override. It wasn't because we haven't paid the bills. It was uh, something we didn't foresee because there's not been many 6.30 a.m. starts at the training ground, but we got the cars and we, we put the lights on the, the Astro and the players actually trained as the sun was coming up, which was, which was good to see. We took them to a boxing gym as well. Uh, Sonny's dad has a boxing gym uh, in Exmouth. And it was brilliant to go there. We worked extremely hard, staff included. Uh, I thought I was going to die after the, the afternoon session, but we wanted to get the players together again, similar to what we did in pre-season, and really get that feel of hard work, of togetherness, of doing things for each other, uh, and then gave them four days off where they could recover. A lot of players needed that, that time to recover and uh, re-energise and come back ready to go. And they've came back in, in great shape this week. We've trained from Tuesday. We'll do our normal four-day build-up into the game, uh, so we're uh, ready to go. And, and, and like I said, I think the break came at a perfect time for us to, to one, allow players to recover and, and get players back fit, and two, uh, work to be, to be ready for a big run of games again. We face Wigan on Saturday as well, a side that we haven't faced as a club since 97, but someone that you, it's a team that you have huge affection for, given your links to Wigan. Yeah, I spent the largest part of my career as a player there. Uh, I then went into coaching and then became the manager. So over seven years of my life spent at that club in a time when the club was in the Premier League, which is an incredible story for a club of that size. Staying in the Premier League regularly on last day survivals and different things was, was a great achievement. Then going on to win the FA Cup, which is a remarkable achievement for you know the club that we had and the size size of club that, that we were, the finances we had to compete against Manchester City in the final, and win was was incredible. And then to feel obviously the effects of relegation, to then go through the the difficult period in the Championship as a player who was struggling with injuries and trying to help uh, new managers that were coming in, and then be given as we were getting relegated from the Championship, be given the opportunity to try and rebuild the club and help them come back and. The, the season in League One was, for me, or, you know, probably one of the best seasons of my life, player and, and coach, where uh, I had a group of players that were, were unbelievable and the club started kind of its rise back and then obviously left and since then disappointing to see what's happened in terms of administration and points deductions and clubs had a really difficult time, but it's a really good club. It's a similar club to ourselves, a real community club, uh, and I'm really looking forward to playing against them, obviously seeing hopefully as many supporters as, as they can bring down. It's a long way, but hopefully they bring a lot of supporters and also be special to see Sean and uh, Graham Barrow, who are, who are two of my closest friends in football. And it'll be good to come up against them, compete against them, and then hopefully have a, a beer after the game if it doesn't kick off too much. I'd say on the flip side of that affection as well, it's very much about it's a game at St James Park where you want to get three points. It is, yeah. I want to you know, show the Wigan supporters how good this club is. I want to show uh, how good a team we are and, and show us off in our best light. So, yeah, it's it'll be special for me, but come kick-off, it's, it's us against another team that we have to win three points. So, uh, within that 90 minutes or 100 minutes now, there'll be no uh, love lost. It'll be fully competitive. I think the supporters at Wigan know what I'm like as a character, Graham and Sean definitely know what I'm like, so it'll be a fully competitive game, but uh, after the game we can, we can, like I say, have a beer together and it'll be good to, to catch up with them. We've been on a bit of a sticky run of form, you could say, in recent times, I mean, but has that break given everyone the chance to just kind of drop that reset and then get ready to go again? Yeah, that was the word we used, reset. We have to reset and that was important that we had a few days really tough training and and like I said, I think it was important we felt that togetherness again and, and how difficult it is on the training pitch and pushing each other and helping each other through to, to maintain the good team spirit that we have. But then 
important to allow the players days away from the training ground to mentally get in a good place uh, and be ready to come back to, to work and to prepare for Saturday, Tuesday again because it's it's coming in, a, in another kind of dose of three, three or four weeks where we're, we're playing a lot of games in a short space of time. Uh, it allowed players who were injured to get to get more time to come back so we didn't have to rush uh, players back for a game. We had a, a spare week to, to progress their injuries. So really important time. I think it was a, a, a massive uh, moment for us in terms of the season moving forward. I think we'll see the benefits on Saturday and in the games to come. So I'm uh, really looking forward to, to getting back to action. I think even staff needed the break as much as players you know, work hard and put in the, the kind of hard work on the ground. I think the staff were also needing that break to refresh, re-energise and everyone's came back this week ready to go. What can we expect from Wigan as well? I mean, without their points deduction, they would probably be just sitting below us on the table. They come into the game in not so good form, having lost their last four games. So it feels like something kind of has to give on Saturday between both teams. Yeah, I, th I think we have to respect them more than their, their league position, clearly, because of the points deduction. Uh, but they have been on a difficult run. They are desperate for a win as well, so uh, we have to try and use that as well. But I think any time we're at home, we have to be a team that plays on the front foot. We have to be aggressive. We have to get the crowd behind us. Uh, and if we do that, then it's a really difficult place to play. Our form at home this season has been really disappointing. I think it's something we have to address quickly. Uh, and, and make sure that we you know, get that going again on Saturday because the, the supporters have been incredible and we haven't given the performances at home that, that they deserve. And the magic of the FA Cup has seen us draw Wigan again in a couple of weeks' time <laughs> at St James Park. So I guess Saturday gives you an opportunity to learn a bit more about them before that game as well. Yeah, it was incredible when it came out. Uh, I think it is the magic of the FA Cup, you know, to have won the FA Cup with Wigan and then you know, get the chance to, to play against them in the first round. It, it shows you what the, the competition is all about. Uh, I don't like them that much. I would rather not see them for a, <laughs> for a few months, never mind two weeks. So it'll be difficult for them, I think, to, to come down here. We know how difficult it is to travel, but for teams coming to us and, and having to do that in quick succession, it'll be difficult. So uh, we'll take that game when it comes, but all focus is, is on Saturday. And we, we have to make sure we get a, a win in the league before that. Sonny Cox went out on loan to Yeovil Town, who are top of the National League South, so it'll be great for his development. Um, does that suggest that Admiral is also back available? Yes, I think everyone, that was uh, the best kept secret in the world when Sonny went, that Ads has been back training. Uh, I think it's important for Sonny to, to get games. He's worked so hard for the team in a difficult period. He's played far more minutes than we had hoped to give him, but it was needed, so hopefully that experience will be good for him in, in the longer term, but I think it's important he goes to a level where he can show his talents off uh, by scoring goals, by being a real threat for, for defenders, and hopefully that can kind of build his confidence again. He comes back a different player after that loan. And the rest of the young players have gone out on loan as well this week. Um, is that partly due to our, the EFL Trophy coming, run coming to an end so they can go out and get you know, regular game time? Yeah, two things really. The EFL Trophy kind of coming to an end and more players coming back fit. So uh, the, the squad hopefully will be bigger with, with more numbers and their opportunities would be less here. So it's important they play minutes somewhere else for, for their own development. So really glad to get them out. It's now important they go and, and play well every single week and, and show how good they are uh, for their development to come back here and, and try and push for a first team place. And after the break, how are we looking injury wise now? Can you sort of, if you can remember, run through updates on those who've been out? Run through, I'll go for the back <laughs> check, back full training for over a week now. Uh, Fitzy back training yesterday after his calf problem for Charlton. Tom Carroll uh, back training yesterday after his calf problem for Charlton. Uh, MA back running, but still uh, a number of weeks away from, from full training. Uh, Dion's three weeks away from coming back for Chelsea, but they're really happy with his progress. Ads has been back training for over a week now. Trev has obviously played and been full training for a, for a number of weeks now. Have I missed anyone? I think that's... Everyone. It must give you a sense of relief as well that the players are all coming back at a time where we've got, again, another run of Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. 
It does, yeah, but we have to be cautious. We have to be careful as a staff. We can't play the players that have missed so much football for 90 minutes, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. We have to uh, build their minutes up, similar to what we did in pre-season. So uh, we will look at that as a staff. We will make sure, you know, we, we need to win games first and foremost, but we need to make sure that we also get these players through these games ready in, in, a, in probably two or three weeks' time to play 90 minutes week in, week out. So it will still be a little bit kind of cautious in how we approach it and, and we have to make sure that we don't overplay players. But uh, it's great to have them back and great to have those choices to uh, obviously pick a, a team on Saturday. Football can be such a funny game as well. On Tuesday, travels to face Derby County near almost a year after you took over and travelled to face Derby County. Yeah, the the people that put the fixtures together obviously just copy and paste uh, because it's even Kev was saying that when he we played Charlton, it was very mm. similar to when he had the team at Charlton. So uh, it would be good to obviously celebrate the year anniversary. Uh, it was a fantastic performance on my first game at Derby last season where we, we got a good battle and draw. Uh, hopefully we can get even more this year, but uh, it's great to kind of celebrate that, that year. It feels like it's went very quick, but it feels like so much has happened within that time as well. So uh, hopefully there's many more years to come as well after this. Finally, as well, I can't believe no one's mentioned it this morning, but you must be absolutely buzzing that Scotland finally confirmed their qualification this week. Well, we actually qualified before England, so I don't know if that was why they didn't mention it. Uh, yeah, fantastic achievement by by everyone. Steve Clark has done an incredible job uh, since he went in there to you know to get back to back promotion uh, qualifications for Euros uh, is amazing. We we play some friendly games where we don't try. So France was was a game we didn't bother England recently, uh, but in the big games we're really dangerous and hopefully we we'll get England in the group. Be some uh, some exchanges for for an, you might have to go boxing if that happens. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've just seen Veal as well. He just came in. I said he can book his holidays in the summer now because they're they're struggling. But uh, <laughs> everyone from Scotland will be going to Germany. Uh